not just go to the bistro because I'm starving? I just want to quit drinking with locals. Nothing wrong in that, is there? I see you drinking brandy with an injured baby upstairs. How do you know about that? Our news travels fast around here. Johnny, what are you doing? Maybe I should take Susie off you. You know, just so she's safe. I knew it was you. What do you expect me to do when I find out that my granddaughter's being abused? I would never hurt Susie. She fell off the sofa. You she wouldn't get your story straight. I heard she rolled off the sofa right onto her head. How did you? Liz. Eva, I am so sorry. I, I was so worried. How could you? How could you phone social services on me? You know I've done nothing wrong. Done nothing wrong, eh? You've done plenty wrong. And you? I thought we were mates. Oh, I am. Not any Peggy Moore, we not. How could you do this to Eva? To us? Get out, you sacked. Oi, you're her manager. She's broken patient confidentiality. Now I suggest you do something. Otherwise, I'll have you sacked and all. Yeah, you can get out and all. I'm going nowhere without Susie. Johnny, beat it. You can keep your nose out. You've done enough damage already. Susie's got nothing to do with you. Eva's my friend and you're embarrassing yourself. Johnny, can we just go home, please? I, I am so sorry. Well, maybe there's a perfect... Tough guy! What do you think you're doing? I didn't do anything! His dad's just died. Dad, he was having a go at me, not the other way around! So we can have another pop of Jason. I never touched him! Didn't look like that to me. What's going on? Stay out of it! my son you're holding. Let him go. Dad! You better watch yourself, kid. I will warn you. Now, can that be the end of it, please? Hey! You heard him! Ron, do you want to fight? You want to fight? Come on, then! Fight me! Come on! I'm in the mood! Take a swing, I'm ready! I can't smash a vicar. Why not? You want me to take this off? What about you? You made your point. Okay. You, over there! You, over there! Right. Get me to the head now! Sorry about that. Sorry, nothing. That was amazing. On this time of day, you can barely keep your eyes open, and then as soon as it's home time, you're wide awake again. Mm, except an hour later, I'm back behind the bar of the Rovers and frazzled again. Ow! Just listen to me, Amy. I said ow! Let's go in the office where we can talk. I think you better go, Dad. I'm not giving up on you. Oh, did you not hear me? I don't expect forgiveness right away. Look, this isn't the time or the place. We said stay away from us. You've got to believe me. I loved your mother. Whatever happened, however it looked... That's enough, Aiden. Yeah, leave it now. Not until he is out of my sight. Stop acting like a backstreet thug, will you? It's OK. I understand why you're doing this. But I'm going to go on fighting. Shut up and get out. Aiden, get up, son. Get a wiggle on. You got a factory full over there, and they need controlling. I've been calling and calling. Went back to mine to get your keys, and oh. Aiden. and talk a stranger through the worst moments of my life. Oh, boo-hoo! I lost my son. You so did I, in case you hadn't noticed! Well, how could I not notice? It's all we ever talk about. Our entire lives put on hold because of it. Well, what do you expect?
paid me to do! Well, you chase around after a baby that you know full well you couldn't take care of! Because you're old! And you're ill! And you're deluded! You are... Or even a new... Hit me. Is that how low you've sunk? Well, come on then, tough guy. Give it everything you've got. I had to do it once, so I do know what you're going through. Me and Jim had a little girl, Katie. She died. I've no idea. Yeah. So we had to say our goodbyes to her. It's amazing how much you can say once you get going. I do think it helps. When was that? 26 years ago. And there's not a day goes by I don't think of her. Okay, when you're ready, Mr. Connor. I'll wait. Actually, would you mind coming in with me? No, no. I said, didn't I? Come on. We'll now hear from Aidan's father, John Connor. Hey, I'm in it. We don't have to do this. Just say the word and we'll get out of here. Take the New Testament in your hand and read the oath, please. I swear by Almighty God that the evidence of... Adam, do you want me to take her out? No, she's fine. No, she's clearly not. Mr Connor. I'm sorry to have to take you through the sad events of your son's death. You were unfortunate enough to find him. It's burned on my memory. I don't think it'll ever fade. The time was 8.55 a.m. He was uh, late for work. I went to chase him up. I called him lazy, feckless, you name it. I had no idea. Aidan had given you no cause to fear for his well-being. He had the world at his feet. Or so I thought. Looking back now, there were signs that he was unsettled. He'd been put in charge of the factory. He was a massive foe of confidence. And he took his responsibilities very seriously. People's lives, livelihoods in his hands. He'd moved back into his own flat. And it wasn't until I went there that morning that I realised he, he never unpacked, not properly. Tell us what happened when he went into the flat. He was quiet. He was always one of them that had the telly blasting or music blaring on his phone. The silence made me feel uncomfortable. And then I saw the note telling you not to go into the bathroom but to call the police he uh, was trying to protect us did you call the police I went into the bathroom I moved him it was a big lad he's way bigger than me 
but I couldn't stand the thought of anyone else seeing him like that. My son. She shouldn't be sitting through this. Just leave it. No, it's not right. Take your time. Hey, just let me take her. It's all right. Take your time. I'm oh, fine. Really. I heard the siren. Ambulance. I knew he was gone. But there's a part of me trying to kid myself that there was some way back. Some miracle. If if he'd been brain damaged. I'd have taken it, I'd have had that. Rather than not having him at all. Take a seat. Welcome. So, how's life treating you? Oh, I'm having a ball. I suppose you know why I'm here. Terrible business. Could have all been avoided. I'm sure. How's life at the factory? You know about that? Yeah, I saw your picture in the paper. I was intrigued. My sister's business, and suddenly your ugly mug appears. Ah, uh, you know what they say about publicity. Turning a profit, are you? Armed robbery, first time, wasn't it? I was driving the car. You splitting hairs. I think there's a subtle enough difference. What am I doing here, Rob? How's Carla? She's very well. Did you tell you were coming? I did, as a matter of courtesy. Why? What did she say? She said to tell you that she was happy. I'm very pleased for her. So you should be. It's not her fault that you're stuck in here. Does she know you? Does she know what? Oh, come on, don't give me them cow eyes, Uncle Johnny. I was never your uncle. Nor Carla's. No, no, of course not. How could you be her uncle? When you're her dad. We'll think what collapses behind Coronation Street. Sorry, we need to clear the street. You're going to have to go that way. Clear! But someone has fallen into one of the holes. Clear! There may be a further collapse under the Knuckles Brewery, but I'm not sure. You need to turn around. Sorry. We need to clear the street. Yeah, well, we need to evacuate the immediate area. Yes, use me as a point of contact. Now wait! Wait! Now wait, don't go over there! Leo! Wait. Yeah, Leo, what, what, what's happening? What's happening? Where's Jenny? Get it! Get back, he's not safe! I don't care! We're gonna help her! No, he's right, he's right! We can't! We have to wait for the fire brigade. But there's flooding all over Manchester. Bridges are out, people are trapped. So we're just gonna stand there and do nothing? We can't go down there! Don't you care about her at all? Of course I do. We got blue light! I'm gonna get my tool see if I can give any help to him. Don't let him do anything stupid. Oh, Johnny! Johnny! We can't leave her down there. Oh, fine. Well, let me go, then. No. Look, I'm younger than you. I'm bitter. I'm sorry, but it's true. Oh, mother. Please, let me do this. Well, wait. I... Be careful. Allowed to go down there to the search and rescue there. Yeah, but don't worry, Shauna's down there rescuing them. Shauna is? What's the use are now? We're heading down. Uh, the rope's there. The rope's there, Johnny. Just feel for it. Something's wrong, it's not moving. Johnny, say something. Are you okay? Please quickly, 
Anthony, there's something wrong with him. Okay, stay clear, please. Johnny, listen to me. They're here. Okay, they're going to be with you soon. Seconds, I promise. Can you lift your head? You, you, you don't need to talk to me, but just, just look at me. Okay? Just raise your head, Johnny. Please, just, just look up. Just look at me, Johnny. Johnny! Johnny, look at me. They're here. Just please hold on. Because they, they're right here. Is up Let the bring them out now. Jenny, Jenny! Jenny! Where's Jenny? Mr. Carl, I can have a word. You're all right now. No. First. No. Please, please, no. Oh. 